and we're going to be playing some more uh, VG VG20 Battle Series. Hope you're all well, having a good day, and um, looking forward to some matches tonight. So, this is the team that we're going to be playing tonight. I know I said I'd probably try and get a wheezing team, but I didn't have enough time, and it just seemed like a lot of hard work, um, especially when we've got a new format kind of announced. Uh, starting in March. It's not the new format, but we've got ad adaptations, haven't we? So, uh, Series 3 will be introducing lots of new Pokemon, including Incineroar, Venusaur, Alone in Ninetales, and the other guys from Arena, for one. So, we're going to just kick straight into it. we got Leo to kick us off with tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see what he's playing. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good stuff. Um, we've got Whimsicott and Teleon, Togekiss, Mr. Mime, Bishop, not commonly seen, and Jellicent. So, um, quite a speedy, speedy team. Um, <clears throat> so if we can get a trick room set up, I think we'll be in a pretty nice place. The lead I'd be like most worried about right now, I think off the bat, would be Bishop and Mr. Mime. Because of the fake out, and then they can do some serious work on Gothitelle. Uh, kind of makes me want to lead uh, Excadrill just to kind of check those two, but Excadrill does not like Inteleon at all, so it's a little bit risky, isn't it? Um, we could go Gothitelle. Um, kind of tempted Gothitelle Togekiss would be nice. Um, Hmm, 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 hmm. Because I don't know what they do. If we get a Trick Room up, we can pretty much sweep through what they've got. Um, Let's go Kiss, Coco, and Giggs. Yeah, let's lock in. Good luck, Leo. And hopefully it's a good one to kick us off with tonight. Got a nice trainer card as well, so props, props, props there. All right, I'm really enjoying this team as well at the minute. Really enjoying it. Like just the the, the heavy trick room mod, something I haven't really played too much. Just played kind of the switches this season, so the heavy trick rooms been a lot of fun to play around with. Um, I mean, can they stop trick room unless they got trick room on Whimsicott? I think we just follow me, follow me Trick Room. Because they don't really have even a Pokemon other than Jellicent to come in that wants to be in the Trick Room. So, feels a bit easy. There's a Taunt, okay. Well, I mean, that's super fine. Um, Inteleon's not gonna max, and just see an Ice Beam. To proc our weakness policy. Which is also quite nice. So we're set up quite nice going into this next turn. Um, because we're just going to, like, all we want to do is dazzle, really. Probably psychic into the Wimmy and just dazzle. Dazzle should get the Inteleon. Um, unless it does max. Uh, and goes max darkness into Cottontail. But then we do have a Trick Room set up already. So we're, we're kind of fine. If something goes down here, it means we get Gigalith or Torkoal in. And we can just start kind of running rampage through their team. Which is the big thing. So it's weird tonight. I normally I normally wait around for um people to come into the stream before I kick off, but I just thought, why not? Let's get into it. I guess it just shows that I'm kind of having fun with the team and enjoying the battles, so. As a psychic, we're not going to see anything max yet. But a combination of this and the special defense fall does help. Plus two, dazzle. Inteleon just hangs on. But I mean, the thing is, like, it. Yeah, ice beam. That's fine. Because I think. Hmm. What have they got? Bishop, Jellicent. Um. Talk all. Let's bring in talk. Nigel, how are you doing, my friend? 
I hope you're well, mate. I've got to say, I never even mentioned it yesterday when I briefly spoke to you, but good job on the uh, brownies. How did they turn out? They look, they look awesome. It's good old fish up. Okay. Um, if it's Sash, it does become a little bit harder. But I mean, really, like, um, let's just go for a blind hypnosis because an eruption's going to be like fine, whatever they do here. But I hope the um, the brownies turned out good, man. They look nice. They look nice. I haven't made brownies in like so long. Taste awesome too. Still got five left because they're pretty sweet. <laughs> nice, nice, man. Been having the the best time with these brownies. Glad to hear they turned out well, mate. What flavor were they? Wow, not no sash bishop. That surprises me. Okay, well this is going to be um, pretty quick, but nice for us to get off to a good start tonight. Luigi, I mean, Lugia. Oh well, I'm good, man. I'm sorry, I can't even read. <laughs> How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, mate. Nice to have you here this evening. And Nigel, salted caramel. Good job. That was a bit of a. A salty, uh, a salty forfeit, but Leo, what are you doing? It's fine. So we'll continue. I'd like to get my rank. Like um, it's so bulky, it hits harder than Tapu Fini. It's it's pretty much as bulky as Tapu Fini, um, and it gets Perish Song as well. That's why I've been playing on it recently, Perish Song, um, which is really nice for like those end game situations where opponent's got two left and you've got one. So I'm not using it as like a main strategy, but just as a a kind of a side a side thing which is kind of useful as well right so we've got Franklin up next Bertic, uh, Whimsicott, Vanillux, Rotom, Simeon and Chandelier right where are we going with this well we've got the weather advantage I guess we've got two weathers to kind of take advantage of here um, the Simeon scares me a little bit because of the Defiant and I do I would like to bring him on top, but leading it, is it the best idea? Probably not. Excadrill might not be the worst. Um, but you kind of, like, we want to get a Trick Room up, because, like, look at my opponent's team. Like, if we get the Trick Room up, the, there's nothing really they can do. But then again, do we just have Trick Room in the back, maybe? And have like Togi top. We'll go with this mod and then we'll go Goth. And we'll go Tokol. Tokol! Yeah. And <laughs> your wife, Tapu Fini, is back. Just in a different kind of form, yeah. <laughs> Murphy's doing so well in the circuit right now, isn't he? Top of the board. The one thing about the circuit this season that, like, my big gripe that I think ah is we can't we can't feature matches. There's no way to upload battles. There he is. There's the Persimian. But it's all right. It's all right. It's going to be all right because we can do this. We can we can do this. And Togekiss then doesn't need to care about what Pissimian is going to do. It might max. It is going to max. But I think we're still going to be alright. Hopefully. Yeah, well there'll be a new one starting soon, man. So, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Retrograde step. It's gonna be it's gonna be all good. Right. So the bullet punch is just a way for us to really proc the berry on uh the weakness policy on Togekiss. Which feels like a really nice thing to have, especially on something like Hitmontop that provides intimidate support. 
not in exactly this circumstance with the Persimian staring down at you, defiant, but I mean most situations is pretty nice. There's the imprison. I don't know what you're imprisoning though, Chandler. And there's the steel spike. But we do manage to take that, and now with the speed boost we'll be faster than the Persimian next turn, so we should be in a good position to kind of nuke it and take it down. Oh, we just do it just in one anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, it would be nice if they did implement it. It's like the one thing I think like Sword and Shield's missing, like it's not like a major thing, but just to have the ability to upload your videos and stuff like that is kind of nice and it, it is a miss. Is Gmax getting go going to be good? I think so. Yeah, I think it'll be I think it'll be really good. I think it'll be really good. And ha how love Mira. Thank you so much for the follow. That's pronounced properly. Um, okay, so we've got Rotom in now. Um, should we get should we get Goth in? Or we could just help in hand, I guess. We could just help. I like I'm not worried about this Chandler at all. Help in hand, Max Starfall, plus two. We'll get the Rotom. Oh, it's protecting. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going to get some nice chip onto it, regardless. And the next thing we can probably... Oh, the chandelier is probably going to go for Trick Room now. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Trick Room. Makes a lot of sense. Team ideas for Gengar. I've never looked yet, Stu. Honestly, it's like one of those things I've not looked at yet. Um, okay. So we've got a trick room up. Are we going to be able to take a combination of attacks from... I think we max guard, and I think we go for a close combat into Rotom. Close combat should, should get the Rotom from here, depending on its bulk, of course. Yeah. Easy. There we go. Um, I don't know. I, Gengar is a difficult one because um, I was listening to... Oh, what is it? The podcast. The uh, Hyper Voice podcast with Steven and Alex. And Alex made a really good point about, you know, Gengar can trap with its max move. But the problem is that Gengar, like, the, the trapping... When it's trapping, it wants to be using Perish Song. And it's not the Pokemon that can use Perish Song anymore because it's maxed. So it's a little bit conflicting there. I still think it'll be good, though. Um, right. Let's just... Let's just start dazzling, and let's... I mean, we can just get rid of the Wimmy, just bullet punch it as well. And then the Shandy's just all alone. Oh, the Bibbery Berry. Sh uh, plus two Dazzle should, should get it, right? Should take this. And then we get a nice free switch into our Gothitelle. And then that's all. All good. I do love this lead. Hit on top still really good in this format. It's a shame that I haven't played with it more before Incineroar is about to just pop its head in. Okay, so Wimmy survives. Moonblast, that'll take us down. But, I mean, we get Torkoal in. Do we want Torkoal in right now? Probably not. <laughs> not against Shandy. Because there's not really much we can do against Shandy with, with Torkoal. So we're kind of relying on Gothitelle. Uh, we can't... Well, we can, a couple of sidekicks will do the, the trick, won't it? Um, we'll go for the bullet punch. And... We can't even Hypnosis yet. But it's fine. That's why I ask, as it's not getting any player as a normal Gengar. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the odd Gengar, but I've not really, it's not really that, it's not a common Pokemon at all, is it really? It's just, it's kind of just here and thereabouts. But when I have seen it, it's actually been doing a lot of work. So whether it's one of those Pokemon that's kind of, 
you know, it would be good that just not more people are playing. Um, I don't know. Drake, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. Hope you enjoy the stream with us. We've still got the the, uh, the trick room up, so we should be all right closing this chandelier down. And we'll get a tiny bit of chip this bullet punch. Makes these situations like this, I'm always like, sucker punch would be so good on top. It's weird when we, I first used top in like 2010. All those, all, all that time ago. Like sucker punch was like sucker punch, mac punch. There's like main moves. Technician as well. Not intimidate. Pokemarty VGC, how are you doing, mate? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us tonight. That's the one. Uh, we've got C Mattia up next. Ferrothorn, Gardos, Rhydon, Rotom Heat, Togekiss, and a Whimsicott. That's definitely. Is that? Is that? That can't be. It can't be Lightning Rod. Could be. Makes sense. Protect your Gyarados. Protect your Togekiss. Uh, well, well, well. If we get Trick Room up, I think we're not in a bad spot. The Rhydon does cause us a few issues, for sure. Um, but I think we got like, I mean, we could go, we could lead our Togi, Togi him on top. I worry then about the Rotom. Because then do we, I feel like we want to probably bring Paul to this one and Gigalith. Because if we don't bring yeah, like Togekiss just does not like Rotom Heat at all. It's like the Gigalith is kind of our, our main re way to kind of get around the majority of this team. Um, okay. Is there really any way they can shut that? I mean, the only thing they can do to shut down our Trick Room is Taunt Wimmy. And I don't really care about Ferrothorn. Like, we got Torkoal. It's fine, isn't it? It's fine. No, it doesn't have explosion, Johnny. <laughs> you don't need to, Johnny. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it! Right, we've got Gyarados, we've got Togekiss. Explosion's an interesting one, though. Just not got the ghost type, I guess, to kind of play along with that, though. But we could totally... We could swap Gothitelle out for Dusclops, I guess. I do like the trapping element, though, that we've got here. Um, alright. So let's Trick Room and... Hmm, do we follow me or do we just yawn? I mean, if one of them maxes and the other attacks. They're going to do pretty big damage to Gothitelle. They might be able to wipe us out. And that's a thing. We're so reliant on Trick Room, we don't want to, um... We don't want to over... Like, we don't want to make, make life difficult for ourselves and have to do this without Trick Room. So let's just... Pair it with Telepathy or Angry. That's not a bad idea, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mushana. That's another one. Gets a telepathy now, doesn't it? I'm sure that was like <laughs> instruct explosion. <laughs> Do you explode twice? <laughs> right, there's the max geyser. Yeah, I think we probably made the better choice going for because I can see the Togekiss probably pulling a yawn out now. But we kind of just want to just make Togekiss the fodder. Go down, and then we get something in for free. Uh, should we try and put the Gyarados to sleep and be really cheeky? Um, and we could yawn. Nah, if we miss, like I want the Togekiss to go down. Let's just go for the follow me. Let's go, Max God. Okay. We get the follow me off. Let's see. Hopefully a dazzle takes us down. Come on. 
<laughs> when you want the damage roll and you don't get it. Right, we'll go for the cheeky hypnosis again. And... Uh, we want to pull in the Gyarados attack, really. That's what we want to do. What's Johnny saying? Instruct Explosion makes me think about that scene in Ice Age 3. With Buck says, unfortunately I was killed, but I lived. <laughs> it's exactly that scene. Fabian. Which team are you on, Bakes? For MPA. And are the flames? Fallible flames, are they still a team in it? I don't know. I never I never really pay much attention to the MPA. I'm really I really should. It's such a good it's such a good setup. Got to tell if you even hit one hypnosis tonight. This is like pointless having you on the team. And now we're just gonna we're just, everything's going to pot. Uh, there we go. It's done. But we got a trick room up. We're gonna get Gigalith in. We're gonna get Torkoal in. We've got banded rock slides we can start chucking out and doing some good stuff. So I think. For the most part, we should be alright. Until. Until. Our trick room ends, and then we are. We are, uh, we are ruined. Hmm. I need to sort out Moodbot as well. Moodbot is just... Nappy, how are you doing? Right, Gara is done. We're going to see some switching from my opponent, maybe. Hmm. Do you think an eruption and a rock slide gets both? I probably, I think it does. I think it does. Let's just go for it. Banded rock slide is going to do so much damage. Like, it's going to put that Gyarados definitely in range for an eruption. And I, I don't see Togekiss taking Rock Slide Eruption. Gara protecting. Okay. Come on. Okay, there's Togi down. <laughs> Banded Rock Slide kills Gyarados by itself. Hopefully, that would be nice if we can do that. Kind of just want to get rid of Gyarados and then it can max Torkoal. It could max Gigalith even. Torkoal feels like the better choice, to be honest. Depends what comes in. Rotom? Ah, oh, that's ideal. Yeah, we just do this and just click these buttons again. Round of the same. It's all it's all on Gigalith now. Gyarados gonna switch out. Ride on. Ah. Okay. Your light. Okay. See how much this does to ride on. And imagine ride on being. It's the last turn of Trick Room as well. Wow, ride on's fat, isn't it? Even your lights. There's some nice work for it. Okay. What have we got? Dimension sim back to normal. We're looking at we're looking at Will O Wisps coming out here, I think. We're gonna have to max and go for max overgrow into the ride on. Probably see Earthquake Will O Wisp, I think. Oh yeah, if it's lightning rod, he can't he can't can't really touch us, can he? Other than like the Will O Wisp, which is obvious, but Willow can miss. <laughs> Rock and Tor is the sweep. I want to find a bit of rhythm for this tonight. Okay, so we're not seeing the raw turn. I think, like, minus one.
don't know if I... The Earthquake's... Probably gonna do like 50% to Gigalith, right? Um, and I don't know if it'll do that much to, to Torkoal. It'll be interesting to see how much the Rock Slide does to Gyarados. Yeah, that's the Earthquake. It stings! Right, well, there's the Rock Slide. This takes... Oh, Gara is gone. And we should get the ride on. And I think that should be it. Critical hit. Giglet said no. <laughs> right, this should take ride on down. You know when you're like, of course it's taking it down. But at the time you're like, is it, is it going to? And then it does and you're like, yeah, what was I worried about? <laughs> the crit was handy, and now we just got a little old Rotom. We got the nice grassy terrain healing us, but not the Rotom. I think I think we're gonna be all right. I'm in a bit of a bind. I don't really want to set up the sun for Torkoal. I kind of like having the sand up just to. I mean, hmm. It's going to be alright, isn't it? We set it up after anyway. So let's just max flare it and see how much we do. Yeah. And we connect. Wow. <laughs> He's swept by Rock and Turtle. He was. Rock and Turtle did it for us, guys. Thank you, Turtle and Rock. See, Matteo, good game. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I still think, like, I, I really do worry about the Mudsdale and the um, the Melotic, though. That's, like, really... Like, it's good, though, when something... I think when you're testing a team and playing around with a team and something really sticks in your mind, like, it's really good to help, like, progress the team. But it's, like, a fine balance between, like, messing the team's, like, whole concept up as well without like and integrating something that can kind of help you against it so we got james up next playing raichu cantonian raichu because we are going to have a lol in soon uh charizard leafeon snorlax tokol and the winds of cot so doubles well we got sun we got it's weird is that it's got to be trick room wimmy right got to be trick room wimmy Hmm. I think here, I think I'm going to go with Togi and go. And then I'm going to bring Giggs and... Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. What are we doing? We want Top and Kiss, Giggs and... Hmm. Do we want our own Torkoal? Not really. I think Excadrill could be maybe a little bit better for us. Let's go with that. Finally got Pikachu and Evolved. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know how to get a LOL in Raichu? It's kind of weird. I think you have to evolve. You have to give it the Thunderstone at a certain time of day. I don't know what time of day it is. But... That's that's what I read on Cerebi. Yeah, it's it's a it is possible. Yeah. If you look on Cerebi, it's got a little weather symbol and then the thunderstone. So I'm pretty sure you can get it. Right, we got Talk All Lax up for my opponent. What are they gonna do? Because uh, we could max ourselves. I can't. I need to concentrate down on the lax, don't I? Really. But we don't want the Torkoal just launching off 
free eruptions, max flares, and all that. Huh. Let's go for it. Let's just do it. Okay. Real talk, do you think Pikachu could be a good Pokemon this season? I'm talking about normal Pikachu, not G-Max. Meta is so slow. Maybe, I guess. I think G-Max just makes, like, a lot more sense because of the, the paralysis on both targets, which is pretty nice. I don't know. I think just use Raichu, though, wouldn't you? Or Togedomaru, even. Come on, we need a crit. We need that super luck to kick in. Come on, Togekiss. You've not been on point with these super luck crits. This is what we need. Come on. That one? Maybe. That looks like it could be a crit. It's probably not, though. It's not a crit. Do get the speed boost, though. There's the berry proccing. Curse Lax. Ah, okay. Well, we should get it next turn, uh, and we can chuck the close combat into the toll call. And just a heat wave. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, dude, dude. The heat wave miss. That's brutal, brutal. Okay, let's just get some damage onto this toll call. Ah. Okay, that's not the damage roll we wanted. It's still not great. Oh, we want this eject button. There we go. That's what we want. <clears throat> Should we bring in gigs just to get some sand up to at least weaken these heat waves coming out from the uh, the talk hall? There's the eruption. Okay, oh, that's fine. That is fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, Snorlax down. So that's not an issue anymore. Right, I'm just trying to think how to say that Pokemon. Pink Urchin. There we go. Pink Pink Urchin and Raichu could be really good, yeah. Uh leave on. Um right, well let's just go for the airstream there and just throw out a rock slide. I've got some stew. If you want after the stream, we'll I can trade. I'll have to just hop on home. Unless someone else has got one now for you that they're happy to give you. Speed boost in this bandit. This bandit gig. Well, now I'd speed the talk all and get a, a bandit rock slide off. <laughs> okay. What's left? Is it going to be the Charizard? So we can't, is it, like, is that definitely a fact we can't get a Alolan Raichu? Like, no way. No way that it, it exists at all in, in the game. There's no way to get it. That's sad if that's the case, man. Um, I think gigs. We just stay in. I think we can take it. Um, oh, the battle's cancelled. So. No Alolan Raichu. As Gala bred in Sword and Shield. That makes me sad. Alolan and Raichu would have been something fun to play around with. I think it's Psychic and Electric Typing really kind of... Yeah, make it quite quite unique in this format. Especially with uh, Pink Urchin. It could be really good. Right, let's carry on with the hop music. Normal Mr. Mime, yeah, so you can get it in, in game, but like breed it across, like transfer it across, but you can't breed it. It's so weird though, isn't it? It's like, it's like why allow us to have like a lot of Ninetales and all the other ones, even though you breed them. And obviously, 
a Lolan Raichu has to evolve into a Lolan Raichu. So it makes sense, but just like, you should have just given us a way to get them. Hop into the top. <laughs> yeah. Where we play Hop's Tune every single episode. That's a new battle series there. <laughs> we got it. Right, we've got Yellen. Uh, Togekiss, Charizard, Wimmy, Snorlax. Lots of Snorlax at the minute. Uh, Jellicent and Conk. So there's your Trick Room call. And then the other half is kind of the, the fast mod. I like this team. Looks really nice, actually. And quite balanced. I like the Snorlax inclusion there. Um, lots of nice support there with the Wimmy and the Togekiss. And lots of headaches for us to deal with. But again, I feel like, you know, like our top... Togekiss kind of works so well here, you know. Um, just to get our weakness policy up and then start max air streaming on things. We do have to worry about the Charizard. Um, and we might, it might be good to bring a Trick Room mod. Yeah, but do we need it? Like, are we, are we just going to go down a mod where... Thing is, if we rely on our opponent to set the Trick Room up, it a little bit hairy. Um... Think out of everything you want, probably Gigalith. Gigalith Goth Excel. At least Goth gives us a way to deal with Conk. Outside of like Togekiss. Let's go for that. Hmm. Yeah. So can we get a Lol and Persian then? Is that gonna be like available? Because that's the other thing. Like a Lol and Persian would be pretty good, I think, in this format as well. Obviously, it kind of contends with Incineroar and doesn't have all the stuff that Incineroar does. But, okay. So, Nigel, list off the things that we can't get when when the, the new rules change from what we can trade to home. As always, you're the man that knows all this stuff, which is amazing. Right, Conkledur, are you just going to go for a, a cheeky protect here? Why am I maxing him on top, that's not what we do. Um, do I max Starfall? The Jellicent, I max Estri. I feel like we go max Starfall. I don't know if we're gonna get it plus two. We need, probably need the crit. There's a conk switching out. Okay, that makes sense then, Nigel. Right, well, let's see what my opponent does. I switched the Charizard into the Conk. The only reason I've not went for the Airstream is because I suspect, well, I definitely suspect the Trick Room with the Conk out, but like hindsight, now it would have been way better, but it's done, so... Let's see, can we take the jelly out? Oh, it hangs on with the slither! Slither of hell! Ah. Strength that, okay. See how much health you get by jelly. Mm. Not quite enough. Um, alright, let's go for a helping hand. Max Airstream. He's a Charizard. Charizard's gonna max, I think. That's the thing, like the other thing that we could potentially just go for. We could just bring Gothitel in for top. Mm, yeah. And then just go for Max Airstream into Jelly. That should take it down. And then at least we're trapping the Zard in. The Zard's probably G Max. Heavy ball. Nice. That's ballsy, man. You know, throwing a heavy ball at a G Max Zard. Wow. Fair play. 
<laughs> I swear since Dens and GMAX are a thing, I pay way more attention to um, to the ball certain Pokemon are caught in than I ever used to. Right, let's see if we can get this jelly. That would be huge. We can. Amazing. Okay, so we got the speed boost. We got jelly in. <clears throat> We're going to be taking wildfire damage. No, which is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. It's so much damage. So much damage. It's so bust. Right, Snorlax. We can fake Snorlax out. And we can go for another Airstream into Zard. Or would have we been better just going for the max Airstream into Snorlax? Hmm. Potentially. Potentially, I guess. I guess it's good just to get damage onto Zard if we can right now because like we're gonna have probably Excadrill as our main answer to, to Zard late game. We've got the Sash there, so if we can just get some damage onto it now, it means like a probably a rock slide is gonna be enough late game to take it down. That's some nice damage. But I think that's the last of our um, Dynamax turns. And even if not, then it's... Yeah. Unless we outspeed the Zard now. Like, are we plus... Plus two. The Zard's plus one, right? Yeah, but it outsped us already, so it probably still outspeeds us. Um, hmm. I'm gonna bring him on top in for Goth, and I'm gonna go for a. I'm gonna have to go for an air slash. I hope we outspeed Zod. I don't think we're gonna, though. Come on, Togi. Okay, okay. Right, right. Now, Trick Room makes a bit more sense for us now because. Is the Lax plus two? I think it is. Focus Lariat. Okay. But we will get top back in. It's not Excadrill, it's Gigglet, which is even better. So we definitely go for a Trick Room. Lizard should shrink back to normal now. Yeah. They can't switch out, so um, we just trick room and fake out. We don't want to fake out. I mean, the Zard can flinch us if we don't fake that out and it does air slash us, so probably better going that way. See you later, Stu. Thanks so much for coming by, mate. Hope you have a great rest of your evening and good luck uh, breeding that toga kiss. Now what we need really need to do is get our um our trick room up and get Gigalith onto the field. And I probably want to try and get top off the field. So I've got it to bring in to get at least an intimidate onto the Concordor. But the other option is I could just psychic Charizard and just close combat the Lax. Hmm, it's tough because the wildfire should, that should be the last of the wildfire now. I 
I think what I'm going to do is go for the Psychic into Charizard. I'm going to switch Top Hat to Gigalith because I think the Lax goes for the Darkest Lariat, which means that we get Top back in again. And potentially, if the Conqueror does come back in, at least we've got a Fake Out into it and we get the Intimidate onto it as well. It's not going to be easy though, like taking down the Conk. Okay, so the Char going to protect. Darkest Lariat, I'd imagine, comes out. Ooh, Belly Drum. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Right. We really need the Devil, the Snorlax, and Hop, a Rock Slide, and a Psychic is enough to get the Lax now. Good Rick's we could risk the uh, the hypnosis, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, the Zard's got the Charty. Oh, it's nowhere near enough. We need the we need the flinch on the lax. That's what we need. No, it doesn't affect uh, body press. I don't think Johnny. Wow, we need the flinch. Oh, we get it. Okay. <laughs> the lifeline. Okay, Conk's coming back in. Joining the party. Right, um we need top in for that intimidate support and we just need to continue going for these slides. We get it. Can we continue? Can we continue with these uh, with these flinches? That's all we need. <laughs> the GMAX Zard team is so strong. Like most variants are just so nasty to face. No, we missed. It's not. We get we get punished. <laughs> this is what happens. It's what happens. Now we lose the Gigalith. I don't know if that was like the right call to be honest. Like really, because I think, well, we're so heavy. Like that's why it's not gonna do very much. I don't know if that was the right move to be honest, but let's see, come on. We'll fake out into Conk. We'll go for the Rock Slide again. And then all we've got is Jelly. Okay, we missed one again. Giglet, we need those glasses on, my friend. Come on. No, I agree, Johnny. But it's still not over, man. Like, can we take a Mac Punch? I don't know if we can. Did I mention him back to normal? Okay. Oh, this is all he's got left. Huh, okay. That's that I thought he had I thought he had jellison still, but okay. Um Hmm. Do we just stay in and just close combat and just rock slide? Yeah, because then yeah. I mean, he could Drain Punch, but then... Yeah. This takes us down, but the thing is, I think another Close Combat takes the Conk down. And he could Mac Punch the top, but... The Gothitelle will take it down with the Psychic, so it's kind of like a split decision there, so... Yeah, I've got... I got Fake Out with Goth, though, as well, so... You know. I'm surprised we kind of come out on the right end of this. The flinch did matter, you know. But there ain't any flinch written on the score sheet when it says... 
W and L. There we go. Okay, good game to my opponent. I'm only messing around. Uh, no, really nice match. Really, really nice, strong team. Um, and yeah, really nice to feature on the stream tonight with you all. All you fine people. So we'll continue battling. Whoosh. Okay. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. Hop to the top. I thought we're coining it. That's that's going to be the title Thursday. Oh, by the way, friends as well. Before we finish the stream tonight, I have a GMAC shiny Grimmsnarl den. If anyone wants to hop in and we'll do some raids at the end of the stream. Totally forgot about that. Um. Okay, so we got Yomo. Yomo um, playing Toxicity, Arcanine, Dracovish. Dragapult, Whimsicott, and Mudsdale. This is a nice looking team as well. Really like Toxicity. <sighs> Mudsdale. Hate you. Hate you, Mudsdale. Um, okay, but there's no Milartic, so I mean, we can bring Top here if we would like to. Um, I do feel like Top Togi is just the way to go and maybe have the backup Trick Room in, like, in, in behind. Top Togi. Um, do we want Toko? Or do we even need a Trick Room mod, really? Hmm. Ah, uh, it's tough, isn't it? It's really, it really is kind of it is difficult. Let's go Toko and. We want Gothitelle? Not really, but I mean... I've got to choose. I'm going to go Gigalith with no Trick Room. Let's just do this. The horse always breaks everything. I really like the horse as well, but I hate playing against it. So peeps up for some Shiny Grimmsnarl. GMAC Shiny Grimmsnarl. Did say I'd get it for today, so I've kept my promise. I kept my promise. Um, gonna see Hitmon Top and Dragapult come out. Uh, can we make the the cheeky player just fake? Are we? Get, are we <laughs> it's my opponent gonna fall for it though. Fake out into to Whimsy Cut and then Max Airstream, and then the next turn we can just bullet punch ourselves. And then get rid of the draggy, the dragapult. Johnny, I'm all for free shinies. <laughs> Good. Good. Cameron. It's not gonna happen, is it? We're not gonna get this. We're not gonna get this. But they might be thinking that we might be thinking that we're not gonna do it, so. Maybe we get it. Like, Wimmy's gotta have, gotta have Protect to get around this. It's not switching, so. Unless it's got a cheeky eject button. Maybe. Who knows? But then I don't really know what that kind of... <laughs> oh, it gets so bad so quickly. <laughs> Okay, so we get the we get the fake out into the Whimsicott. Bye bye Whimsicott. Max using water spout. What are we talking about? Oh, that is your horse counter. Nice. I like it. <laughs> like, that's like obnoxiously good. Um, okay, so let's go for the bullet punch into the toga kiss and let's get rid of this dragapult. Do we care what the Mudsdale's doing? It probably could max. It could max. But we can worry about that in a minute. We need to get rid of the, the dragapult. What's the dragapult doing? Is the dragapult maxing? Is it? Or is it the mud? Is it the horse? Of course it's the horse. It's always the horse. Maxu's water spout. 
Right. Okay, the horse is there, but it's fine. We still got top. Top is a good a good way to help us check the horse. It's gonna max steel spike for sure. Wow. This is why we need a little bit of a faster togi. But it's fine. It's gone now. Problem is gone. I wonder if a helping hand plus two max starfall will get a mudstale. Rockfall. So no defense boosts at all. Just some some sandstorm. I don't think even a plus two helping hand will get the horse though. Ah, uh, the, the Dracovish. And we're definitely not gonna outspeed this thing. Because if we can't outspeed. Hmm. But we could, we could bring, ah, we can bullet punch it, and then we probably do. Yeah. So let's bullet punch it, and let's max star fall it. Yeah. So we're not getting the double, the double damage. Just getting this thing, oh, we do outspeed it. Oh, okay. Just being too careful, too careful. Now it's horse versus the world. Max Rockfall again. Togi survives, but we're gonna go down to the um the sandstorm, unfortunately. Togi's done some good work. I mean it's pretty much just dismantled the rest of their team, so we can't really complain. It's done <laughs> it's done well. Right, what have we got left? Tokol and Gigalith. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Which one do we bring in? Um, ah. Let's bring in Gigalith. I kind of want to keep Toko. I feel like Toko can do a lot more things to it. Um, are we going to switch top out? I don't think you attack top if you're the horse. Um, and ha. Ah. Do we body press Iron Head? Um, Let's just bot. Let's lock in the body. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Let's just lock in with body press. This is the turn where he goes for a uh, hit on top, isn't it? Max knuckle. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Super fine. I wonder what variant of horse it is. Stamina, okay. There it's done. Okay, now we're alright. We just switch in top. Um Yeah, you're gonna chase down you're gonna chase down the top pole here. And it's probably a salt vest as well, I think. The annoying thing would be if it chases down the Gigalith. Because it's just going to activate our eject button and then we get Gigalith back on the field. But I mean, we do then get another Intimidate. Okay, there we go. Onto the horse. That did happen, but it didn't, so we're alright. Uh, we can Eruption. And go for a fake out. Yes, we're boosting defenses, but it's all right. Yeah, potentially, Johnny. You probably, yeah, you're 100% right. Let's see how much this eruption does. Can we gauge what kind of force this is? Okay, that's fine. That's a good horse answer. And um, because now we can just solar beam and just close combat and I even reckon close combat's gonna be enough even after the defense boosts yeah okay good game to my opponent right um 
how many of you want to do the, the shiny G Max then? Like, because I can stream for another half an hour. So we can have like probably one more battle and then we can just smash out smash out some stuff. But if there's only a couple of you guys, then we can have a couple more battles. And then and then do the uh, the G Max stuff after that. Yay, a rating. Way more respectable. Not quite there though. We're not quite quite there. Getting there though. Okay. So our next opponent. Sean. Fifteen hundred sixty seven. What's Sean running? Pikachu, Johnny, there is your mon. Uh probably gonna be Gigantamax, maybe not though. Uh Silvali, the Togekiss, Arcanine, Gyarados, and Duraludon. Hmm. What are we gonna do here? Like Trick Room again, like Trick Room, like Tolkol, Gigalith on the field against like pretty much anything that my opponent's got, we just run through. So like that's gotta be our end game. It's just getting to the point where we can get our Trick Room off. Um And I don't know whether it's better going with Top or Kiss. To help us do that. I think the Intimidate's probably better. And double fake out, it doesn't hurt. The eject button's nice as well if they decide to go after the top. So yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Johnny, here's the rat. The rat has arrived, the, the yellow rat. You know, it's so strange. I don't really show Thea too much Pokemon stuff. She's only nine months. So I kind of want her to discover it for herself because I don't want it to be like something forced onto her. So she does really like it, but she has seen plushies and things around the house. And when we've been out and stuff like that. Now, if I ever show her a plush of Pikachu, it's like her face lights up and she gets super excited. It's the cutest thing ever. So that's that's a good sign. It's a good sign. Right, we've got Pika, 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 Chu, and Garados. We're gonna see the Max from the Gara. Is the Pikachu gonna max? I mean, what do we do here? Do we just go for a fake out into... I mean, what are we more worried about? Like, uh, Gyarados is gonna max. Does Pikachu go for like a nuzzle? Hmm. Let's go for the fake out into Pikachu and go for the trick room. Let's see this. Yeah, it's super cute. I'll try and get a video sometime. It's so cute. I do like this guy's Pikachu shirt. I'm gonna wear it for IC. I want it. I want to wear it for the IC. Okay, so we get the fake out right. As long as they haven't faked out us. Which they which they probably have done. They probably faked out uh, Gothitelle as well. No, they went for the top. <laughs> this is the best. This is the best situation ever. Um, okay, we get big bad gigs in. What are you going to do, Gyarados? You're minus one. Go max airstream. Every day of the week, we take this. <laughs> Could we have had a, a more perfect turn? I don't think so. You imagine Dusclops and TCG. Is is Eevee or Light like an item in TCG? Or not? Imagine if it was. Um, let's go. Rock Slide. Do we keep? I don't really even want to keep Gothitelle in. I'm going to bring Tolkol in. Because then we get that board position we want, and we can just start really utilizing our trick room turns. I think you've got to just do that as soon as possible with this team. Or it feels at least I'm leaning more towards that's what we really want to be doing most of the time. Um. Okay, so Goth going out. Cockle, the rank master, is coming in. Wow, 
That does so much to Max Gyarados. There is an EVO light in TCG. Oh man, that's nasty. So we take that pretty comfortably. This is fine because I don't mind the rain going up because the next turn we'll just max with Torkoal, we'll max Flare, and then we'll just Rock Slide again. And that should clear whatever comes onto the field. Depend of what Arna comes out of Togekiss. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's like super, super fine. So let's just go for that and let's go for that. Yeah. And I don't know what my opponent really does here. Never realized before, but my Tokol's in a Premier Ball. There's a swag, a swag right there. The swag. <laughs> if this Pokemon card is attached to a basic Pokemon, any damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 20. Yeah, that's not. It's not ideal, is it? Yeah. Ah. Protecting Togi. But unfortunately, we still got our sun up. Gigalith being a good boy, taking that Gyarados down. Premier Ball is the best ball. Change my mind. I can't. <laughs> I do think Moon Ball's. It's either between Moon Ball or Dive Ball. I think probably Moon Ball is my favorite ball, really. You know, like Dive Ball for the longest time, just because we couldn't get the um, the Apricot Balls. So, and now we can. Moon Ball is just such a nice ball. I do love it. I love the Heavy Ball as well, mind. I think all the Apricot Balls are pretty nice, to be honest. So let's just nuke the Togekiss Rock Slide again. We are pretty good. Did you hack all your Pokemon with max stats? No, dude. I, I bred all my Pokemon. I've got like 400 hours clocked in my game. Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, uh, because I just wouldn't, I wouldn't get a hacked Switch. I wouldn't waste my money just to have a Switch, just to have a hacked one. Um, so, yeah, all my Pokemon are 100% legit. I just spend a lot of time breeding. But if you, if you want some help breeding, I did a breeding guide on my YouTube channel. Uh, it tells you how to breed perfect. IV Pokemon. 